Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about yet another Windows tweaking app, and this time it's called Optimizer. So it's a free download, nothing to install. You just need to run the executable. Say yes to the prompt. Then it'll check for requirements. It'll check your hardware. All right, so it's uh, broken down into several categories here. The first one is general. There's not a whole lot of super useful things here, you know, as far as I'm concerned, because you're not going to want to disable the print service. You probably don't care about sticky keys or smart screen, uh, system restore, that type of thing, apps and privacy settings. So the next one is Windows 11. Yours, if you don't have Windows 11, it might say Windows 10. It also tells you your version of Windows that you're running and what version of .NET Framework you're running. So you could restore Classic File Explorer. So for Windows 11, just keep in mind, you know, Microsoft kind of made some changes so some of these tweaks don't work anymore. So you could try it and see what happens. You know, like classic photo viewer. You, know, you could do align to the left, disable widgets, disable snap assist. And if you want to enable the right click menu, you could do that. But any change you made, you have to restart the computer for this section. So let's go ahead and do this and then we'll be back when it's restarted and see if we have our uh, classic right click menu. Okay, so we've restarted the computer. Let's try right clicking. And you can see we have the classic right-click menu back, so that works. So let's open the app again. Okay, so here's where we left off here. All right, then if you want to disable stuff, just turn it off and restart again. Then you have the UWP apps. Make this full screen here. It's kind of hard to see because I'm recording at a low resolution. Uh, but you have uh, all these UWP apps you could uninstall. Let me get this taskbar out of here. Okay, so now I can see a little better here. So you can restore all or delete them. Then you have options to only... Uh, see the uninstallables or select all. Then we have the startup section here. So this shows things that are set to start up with your computer. So you can make a backup in case you want to restore things later on if you make some changes. Uh, delete, locate file, find in registry. So a good way to clean up the uh, startup apps. Then the app section. So this is stuff that they recommend, or not recommend, but suggest that you might want to install. So it's like an all-in-one place to uh, get the apps here. So what you could do, you could set the download folder, set the preference for what uh, version of the software, 64, 32-bit. And then if you check this box, it will install it after downloading. Otherwise, you can install it manually later on. All right, then we've got the cleaner section here. You can just kind of check which items you want to clean. You know, recycle bin, temporary files, clear out your browser settings. And then if you check something here, you could do that and analyze. So it tells you what it's going to do there. And you can run the disk cleanup as well. All right, then we've got the pinger here too. So you can put an IP address or domain name. Let's just do google.com. Let me do ping. So it'll give you five or six uh, pings here. Or seven or eight. Okay, then you could actually copy the IP address if you want and paste it in somewhere. Or you could check on showdown.io if you want to see information about that domain. You know, who's hosting it. And that type of information, SSL information. Okay, then you have the host file. So if you want to add or remove items from the host file, you could do that. So let's use this uh, same IP address we just copied. Let's call this google.com. Blocker read only, we're just going to add it manually. If you click on locate, that'll take you to the file. And let's just open it here. And you can see that it added it just like that. And you can delete it if you want. Then we have the registry section. So, this, I imagine you would need to know you have these problems before you actually go ahead and run one of these fixes because it doesn't really tell you what it's going to do. So that's up to you if you want to play with those or not. Then you have the hardware section, which shows you kind of like a device manager. And you could actually uh, click on something, too, and 
copy search with Google. Like that, gives you disk information about space available, file system, what's compressed, network adapters. That's nice. So this integrator, so this allows you to add programs to your right-click menu and that type of thing. By clicking that, add or modify an item, delete existing desktop items. Then they have some preset ones here too, so I already have this one on. So add system tools, so we go out to the desktop here. You got system tools there for the desktop. And define your custom run commands if you want to do that. And here's some existing ones. And then of course, just have the options if you want to change your theme, check for updates, start for the start with Windows, and so on. So it's a pretty handy little app there. So like I said, it's free. It's got a bunch of stuff you could use to tweak your Windows settings. So you might want to give it a shot. So I will put a link in the description and you could download it and see how it works for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.